Hardcore parkour. Here we go. You ready? Yeah! A little bit of uh, the Camp Kennan CrossFit. So when I'm on top of here, I have to walk on these aluminum braces. You don't want to crash through, now do you? I want to show you guys the difference between a lizard that's happy with you touching them and one that is not. See? Open mouth, tails up. He's telling me he's not comfortable with me touching him. Here, look at my finger. Look at my finger. No, 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 no. My finger! My finger! Look down! Hey, what's going on everyone? Ken in here today. I am, uh, well, what am I doing? I'm just swapping out water bowls, cleaning water, and I'm gonna be feeding some animals. So I want you guys to join me today because uh, I could use the company. We also got Sophia's gonna help out. Go, Sophia, get that water bowl. I think she's afraid of a bug. Will you go past that bug? You're the lizard lady. Come on. We need you, we're waiting for you. We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennet. This week's shout out goes to our newest supporter, JJ Garcia. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. So what I wanna do is I'm swapping out some water bowls. Uh, I wanna give some of the snakes bigger water bowls. Uh, they were using these, but these are gonna make good feeding bowls. And I wanna kinda upgrade them to a bigger one. Also these lunatics here, Crazy Sophia and Stumpy here. Watch this, I must close this because Crazy Sophia is just that. She's a cuckoo bird. So I wanna swap out this bowl and get a fluker bowl in there because I think it looks better. It's gonna really um, kind of accentuate being that it's made out of stone. It's gonna really be cool. So let's just do this real fast. Push this over here. I already started unwrapping one. I like this one. And I also turned on the water so that I could actually, oh, this is the extra large. Uh-oh, well, what am I doing? Let's go over here. Let's try not to make a mistake and have a lizard running around. That would be no bueno, you crazy little girl, you. That's not food. I love these lizards, man. This girl came to me from my friend, Ken Alfieri. Oh no, actually no, this is from another friend. Uh, I got her a few years ago. Here she is, she's a little wacky. You see this, guys? You see how it's dripping? So I like to just, Get it right there. I think that's gonna look cool. So we just place some of the rock around it and it really blends in nicely. So that's cool stuff. So we just let that drip, drip, drip. It comes on every day. It will fill this whole thing up and it also leaks out. Did you get another one? What a kid. Don't you just love having a little child to help you out and make sure Oh, good job, young lady. Okay, so, um, yeah, we gotta get these water bowls swapped out. So, uh, this is what's up. So let's get the next ones for the snaky poos. All right. Yeah, for the snakes. Oh, very good. Let me see. Hey, everybody. All right, let's do this. Slinky is definitely being a little, little uh, curious little lizard today. He's trying to pop out and he's gonna be pressing against the bottom there. Uh, so I wanna be quick. Uh, I'm not feeding Slinky today. These guys have just recently ate, but we are gonna feed all the other critters, of course, like this one. Guapo, what are you doing to me, buddy? My hands are full. See, this is, this is the trouble of being the only person at your reptile farm. I gotta do it all. Good thing I got Sophia, though. But I kinda don't want Sophia in here because of the... Uh, I just want to kind of get these snakes set up. We're going to change out that water bowl. And right now, their water should be dripping, but it is not. Hmm, interesting. So this is what we're going to do. Let's get all these up Yeah. So very good stuff. Really appreciate the help from Fluker. Um, really heavy duty water bowls, but I wanted to give the snakes uh, larger water bowls so that in case they feel like it, they can kind of get in and really kind of wet themselves. Um, we do have a lot of humidity here uh, in Florida, so I'm not really worried about their sheds right now. In the dry season, I would be, uh, but right now, no big deal. Here are the hog island boas. I love these snakes. Uh, beautiful, look at this. You don't think snakes use this whole enclosure? They certainly do, look at that. There, and look at how pretty she is. Oh, don't you bite this camera, you. Let's go ahead and just pour that out. And we'll move it over here. And then we'll just take this and place it right there. What you doing, lady? That's the female, that is the male. And it looks like I may have to climb up on top 
of my um, up on top of the cage here because it seems like since I have well water, I have hard water. So there's a lot of um, minerals that get in it. And those minerals could then um, potentially uh, go ahead and clog some of these smaller sprinklers. So that's what I'm gonna have to do. I gotta climb up top, but this is, this is the job, man. I wanna show you guys what it's all about when I'm doing things. Um, very important work we got going on here. Let's get this over here. Oh, look at this, how beautiful. There is, of course, one of the Timor pythons. Here's the other. Uh, and it looks like the blackhead's out. Very cool. I love it, man. This is fun. I like getting out here. I like being amongst the critters. I love when Sophia's helping me, although I know she's probably bored because she kind of kicked her out of here. But if you look down below, these guys know they're going to be getting fed soon. I threw some weeds out for Guapo and Lola, uh, but we are going to do a really fun feeding here in a moment. So let's just get these water bowls dialed in. I keep shoving the cellophane in the pocket. We don't want this to get out. We don't want any animals to accidentally ingest something like that. And uh, look at the blackhead, huh? How cool is that? What an awesome snake. And this is also the fun, guys. You get to see your animals. You get to hang out with them. You get to just witness them being themselves. Beautiful snake. Love it. How gorgeous are you? And look at that face. Uh-oh. Are you zeroing in? Let's not get bit by the blackhead. All right, let's go see what's going on with our sprinkler system because it should be running. I turned it on. So let's see what the situation is. Look at this, see? See this? Hey, why are you whipping me, man? You're the one being bad, not me. Good grief. Good grief. Come on, Slinks. You gotta go back, back in. Oh, I love you. But you know, you're driving me a little nuts right now. See, once you clamp that one, no issues. But I think we got an issue, so if we gotta figure out what's going on with this, uh, watering system so we got that water is gently dripping out hey look tortoises everywhere so it is definitely on but unfortunately i think i need to climb up top because the the sprinklers are not dripping hardcore parkour here we go you ready yeah how you like that still got it i can still climb so when I'm on top of here, I have to walk on these aluminum braces. You don't want to crash through now, do you? So let's see what the problem is. Hello, bamboo. How are you? Oh yeah, look at that. What's going on here, man? Ugh. Yeah, these things are definitely old and gacked up but I didn't use on that one, that's a regular drip. Let's see on this one, that's right here. It's been a while. We're gonna put you guys down. See it right here, you just twist. Let's see what happens. Wow, something's up. Ah, I know what the problem is everybody. It's a good thing I came up here. So check this out. Uh, the end tube seems to have snapped. So there's no pressure. See how I have this crimped? That end tube, we need a zip tie and we need to crimp that up again. And then we shouldn't have a problem. So I had no water pressure coming out of there. All right, I gotta go get a zip tie, hon. So much to do. Always gotta keep things rolling, man. I can't wait to get rid of this too. This cage, this thing is rotting away. My goodness. That's why we gotta get ready and do the other. We gotta do the other. Um, the other iguana cage. People, this is turning into like maintenance at the farm. I like to get this. What's that? That's right. We got to do it, right? Got to do the work. All right, let's go get ourselves a little zip tie. A zippity doo dah. I must have one in here somewhere. Hey, look at that. I've got some. These should do it. Here we go. Ugh. It's a little bit of uh, the Camp Cannon CrossFit. Okie dokie. Hey, okie dokie. Back up on top. I wonder how, if I'm gonna be able to do this when like I'm 70 years old. I hope so. I hope I'm still 
agile enough to do all this fun stuff. All right, here's what we got to do. Put you right over there. And then you just take this. And uh, this is how I, you can sometimes buy a product that will clamp this, but this is just a quick and easy way to do it. That's cheap. Okay, so now I'm hoping pressure builds up and we'll get that water coming out of there again. If not, this is certainly gonna take a little bit more time than I thought. Hey, look at this, there's a snakes. How great is that? Hmm. What is going on there? Not enjoying this. Hmm. I really hope I don't have to climb up there again. Oh, I'm a complete buffoon. Guess what? I didn't turn on the right. This is this charger goes to that and that. This charger goes over here. <laughs> Oops. Oops a daisy. My mistake. Let's go 35 minutes. Now watch. Any second now. Ah, yeah. See? I'm a knucklehead. It helps when the water gets turned on, huh? There we go. Very good. All right, see, so now I can go back in and I can adjust where those bowls are so they'll fill up properly. So that's what we're going to do. But I think to uh, save time, so I think we might, um, we might want to start feeding our animals while we go back in there. So you can see I've got two buckets filled with yummy foods. Dude. Yes, this is actually the Fluker Aquatic Turtle, the Crafty Cuisine. Uh, it comes in a packet like this. Um, I love this stuff. Uh, it's really cool because this stuff sinks and it'll allow the turtles to kind of uh, kind of forage along the bottom and I think that's really cool behavior to watch especially if you guys keep these animals in a uh, aquarium setting uh, it's fun to watch them kind of off the bottom and then uh, you know we also have what's called their tortoise and I also mixed in two different types of food here I mixed in their tortoise diet the crafted cuisine tortoise diet I mixed in their garden blend. Could you open that up for me? This is for some of their herbivorous lizards and stuff. You have to peel it first, Booger. Show people how you peel it off. Yeah, there you go. Hold that tight. Oh, hold it tight. Pull, pull. You got to hold it tight. Use your muscles. Hold on one second. I got to start it. There you go. I helped you out, buddy. And I just pour this stuff in here. So this is a big feed. Uh, so they sell them in these little packets. Uh, if you use them, you got to uh, go ahead and zip lock them up and put them in the fridge. But here's why I like this stuff. Um, in addition to that, I also mixed in some of their pellets. But why I like the Crafted Cuisine is because it's moist. And when you're feeding tortoises, it's important for them to have some moisture, especially in these hot climates, because it's very easy for a tortoise to become dehydrated. So watch this. I like to just put it in there. These little leopards show them where it is. And then they really get excited and they love eating it. And I know they're also gonna have hydration. Super important. So we're looking at these snow leopards right now. And the snow leopards are really beautiful little tortoises that um, are leopard tortoises, but they're more high white. And what's funny is these guys start out as regular looking leopard tortoises. They don't look much different uh, than a regular baby babcocci, Paradalis, Paradalis babcocci, uh, which is the Latin name. They actually, um, they actually, uh, you know, wind up, wind up. Um, you want to open this one up and you can get that tortoise on? There you go. He is on the way over here. So these guys start as they develop. In fact, look, see this guy's a little bit younger and he's just starting to get some white flecks. But you can see this other guy right here really, really getting uh, excitable. And then this one, of course, super awesome. But yeah, these guys are going to start eating. It'll be fun. I think I scared the other guy away, to be honest. But uh, good times here, and this is why I like it, because it's moisture, it's good for them, and uh, it keeps me from having to worry about them dehydrating, which, as I mentioned, can be a big problem. So there they go. They just get yeah. right into it. Yummy, yummy. 
So uh, I keep dripping on them. So let's shut that and we'll get this ball a rolling. So who do we got to feed in there? We got to feed Crazy Sophia and Stumpy. We got to feed, Guapo that's right, Guapo and Lola, the Solomon. Solomon. Yep, and that's that. I'm going to need the flat ones. We're going to use the flat ones for the, the turtles, actually. We got to feed the, uh, the Asian box turtles or Chinese box turtles. And then we'll get Stumpy. Let's get Stumpy and his girlfriend fed. So we'll just take some of this. Crazy Sophia. Crazy Sophia. All right, so here we go. Get these guys situated. And they know when I'm giving them food, they get very excited. Oh, hi. How you doing? Why don't you come on over here? Come on over there. Oh, there you go. Oh, so we'll just go ahead and let these guys kind of check it out. Uh, same thing applies for these guys as well. It's um, good for them to have a moist food. I like this stuff. It's made with natural ingredients, uh, different plants, different vegetables, uh, and they really love it. They just eat it all up. Uh, sometimes you might get a finicky animal if you've been feeding in one type of food. Uh, what I'd do is I'd mix this food with their favorite food and then over time remove their favorite food uh, and they'll be getting a really good, well-rounded uh, meal. So uh, you can see they're just going to town on that. So that's awesome stuff. Very, very cool. And Stumpy, are you going to come down here any second now, bud? Come on. Come on down. You're missing out. Now, she will eat everything if you don't get down here, bud. Come on. I'll tell you what. Why don't you use me if you'd like? Do you want to use me as, a, uh, as something to come down on? Are you in a mood? Whoa, that's my foot. That's my hand. Come on. Come on. I'll tell you what. Have we crossed? Oh, oh, oh don't you dare. Don't you dare. A bite from him would be bad. See? Now, guys, I was talking last video about behavior of cyclora, right? I want to show you guys uh, the difference between a lizard that's happy with you touching them and one that is not. See? Open mouth, tails up tails up off the ground instead of that droop down. So you know what? He's telling me he's not comfortable with me touching him and getting a bite from one of these lizards would not be good. Uh, he could split you open really well. So I'll just let him find his own way down. There's plenty of food. I'm not in the mood to kind of get bit today because I've got so much to do and I'd like to do it without getting stitches. Okay, Stumpy, you win. It's about understanding your animals and learning from them and giving them the chance uh, to talk to you. So I'm gonna get two scoops for Guapo and Lola. I've also mixed in their, uh, their tortoise pellets. And what's cool about them is they also have carrots and other really good natural veggies uh, in there as well for the animals. And so now this is gonna be for the Chinese box turtles. Now this stuff is made up, it's got insects in it, it's got vegetation in it, it's kind of an omnivore diet, which is what most aquatic turtles are, they're omnivores. So, okay, very good. Now we also need one more tray, one more bowl, and that is gonna be for Solomon. Solomon. Yeah, now Solomon, what is he? He's a veggie. He's a veggie turn. Him and his girlfriend, El Diablo, vegetables. <laughs> That's right. All right, now I'm gonna go and then you come in and then you shut the door. Wait a minute. Oh no, so if we got a situation, my job didn't do too well. Look, the water broke, the water main broke. Oh my God, open that up for me, hon. Let's get these guys fed and then I'll fix that water. Oh no, so if I'm having, we're having a rough day today. Now the other thing is guys, if, here, come here, this is yours. There you go. If uh, they wind up eating a little bit of the tortoise or the aquatic turtle diet, that's not that big a deal. No, don't eat my toes. Oh no, definitely don't eat her toes. Let's uh... No, that guy. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Some days are just crazy. easier. Yeah, right? Some days are crazier. All right, he's in there. Where are these two? Oh, hello. You know what I like to do sometimes? I like to just put their food right in here. There you go. That is hawking. Hawking the hawk. All right, let's... Is he up there? Oh, cool. Wait a second. Wait a second. You know what it is? Oh, we're lucky. It's just an adjustment on the uh, ball valve. All right, let me go do that. Ugh. Oh, you got out. You're so smart. 
All right, let's show you what this, oh my God, this is just a busy day today. This is the real life at the farm, kids. All right, so you see what I got going on? We got to adjust it. We got to adjust it down. So that's just a dripper and not a sprayer. That's too much. That's just right. All right, we did it. Get me the heck out of here. All right, we're going down last time. All right, now next, ah, we need this. Petra and Petra? Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. We gotta get Petra and Petra. Good girl. That's cool. They're getting such nice bowls, huh? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, give them some uh, bat food right there. Very nice. Now we walk over and we'll give them their food. All right. Hey guys. Come on and get it. Come on, sweetie. Is that Petra or Petra? Oh, that might be Petra. I'm just kind of waiting for them. Come here, here's the food, dude. See, it's a new bowl, they're not used to it. There it is. Get to it. Yeah, she's getting ready to lay her eggs. Yeah. So I don't know how hungry she's gonna be, but there is some food for her. Aw. So it's really cool that even this tortoise diet, uh, the iguanas love. What, dude? Oh, the turtles are attacking you? Well. You gotta be faster than a tortoise, babe. So good, she's gonna do her thing, keeping up her nutrients so she can eat and produce those eggs. That's always good. Now we are not doing a full feed of everyone. I'm feeding animals that I wanna make sure are getting hydrated. Um, so we're gonna do just a few more guys here. The sulcatas won't get fed, the, but the iguanas will. Uh, because obviously we don't have enough of that food for all the sulcatas. So what I like to do with sulcatas during these hot days is I get them papaya, I give them um, watermelon. A lot of people say you shouldn't give fruit to sulcatas, but I have found that if you just give them the dry haze and things like that, I've had problems with tortoises becoming dehydrated. And in fact, look at this. Here is Hercules, right? And seasonally we get the mango. Here's another mango tree. But look at Hercules, what is he eating? He's eating the mango. So the fact that he's eating mango doesn't bother me. I know he's getting, he's getting some moisture out of it. He seems to enjoy it. And since it's seasonal, yeah, it's not something it. he gets all the time. Yeah, he does have it all over his face, doesn't he? Oh my gosh. He's like me. He is like you. Sophia can never keep food in her mouth. It's always all, all over the place. We have to feed over here. We're going to give these leopard tortoises, these are the snow leopard adults. We're going to give them some food in this. So I'm just going to give them a little bit of this, hon. Go ahead and spray it out. All right. Yeah, there you go. Just a little bit more. That should be enough. That's going to be plenty for them. A little of this goes a long way, which is nice. Yeah. Like seven. Yep, that's it. So these guys will smell it once they wake up. They're kind of relaxing in the shade. It is kind of the hottest part of the day. All right, let's get these leprechauns and of course the beautiful South African leopards. Uh, they need to be fed as well. These guys are just doing awesome. They're a beautiful tortoise. I really love having them here. So feast your eyes on just how gorgeous that guy is. Uh, actually, all of them are females, except for the one male leopard tortoise that's in here. So we'll go ahead and place this out here. So once they smell it, they come on over. There we go. Okay, yeah, I can't take it. All right, see you later. Thanks for playing. Bye, Soph. Well, it was good having Soph while it lasted, but now we're just gonna go ahead and just focus on this. And I love it, man. I really love uh, this tortoise here. It's just so beautiful. I hope that her and her mate wind up breeding. It would be fun to have some South African leopard babies. Uh, these grow a little bit bigger than the Babcock eye. Look at this. They love it. So we're making sure they're hydrated. And here comes a leprechauna. Don't have a name for that one. I forgot the name that they were originally, but forgive me. I just love them anyway. The nameless shelled wonders here. There's so many tortoises, it's hard for me to keep, uh, keep track all the time. Up oh, here comes the male leopard back there. He's gonna make his way over and continue eating. Very cool. Okay, so 
here's what's going on. Let's go take a walk and I'm gonna give you an update on good old Lumpy. Uh, Lumpy, as you know, has been having issues and those issues result from last year. He got extremely dehydrated and that's why I've been mentioning dehydration, dehydration over and over again. Uh, he's been getting a diet of papaya and mango right now and I've really been focusing on more wet food. So I wanna get him some of this uh, crafted cuisine from Fluker because this stuff is going to have a higher moisture content and I really want to get his body back into, um, into the mode of digestion. And what I mean by that is if a tortoise, if its digestive system shuts down, it is very difficult. Oh, you, you're right on top of your, uh, your food bowl, aren't you, lumps? I'm gonna have to move you, buddy. But what's good is I've been noticing for the first time in a couple weeks, poop. Poop has been coming out of the rear end of our lovely tortoise. If they get too dehydrated, they get constipated. So we uh, gotta make sure that our friend here doesn't get, oh, that's just some mango, doesn't get constipated. Luckily for me, he kept eating. Last year, he stopped eating, and that's what really prompted me having to do uh, all the um, all the whole situation with the feeding tube and stuff. But what we're going to do is give him some of this and really allow him to just chomp on that. Um, I want him to eat this. This is actually the second time I'm feeding it to him, so I want to see if he likes it. Um, he did eat it last time, but he's been more shy, as you can imagine, since I've been picking him up and prodding him and stuff. And that leg is still somewhat swollen. So uh, we think he does have a little case of gout from being dehydrated. Those uric acid crystals get into the joints and uh, really inhibit mobility and cause swelling and inflammation. So um, it's, it's definitely something to keep track of here. Come on, Lampy. I just love this tortoise. I've had him for many, many years. Uh, he is, was gifted to me by a dear friend's father. And um, I just want to keep him going because uh, he is not so old that he should be thinking about passing on. He's still kind of a middle-aged tortoise and I want to make sure that he's uh, with us for a long time. So that's why I spend a lot of time with him over here. I've isolated him so that I can make sure that Lumpy is getting the proper treatment and eating the right amounts of food. So a couple of handfuls of this crafted cuisine is really going to make him happy. Uh, he's, he is slow to get going though. It's so funny, man. Let's see what he does. Uh, Lumpy, any day now. What we'll do is we'll let Lumpy get comfortable. I'll swing back and I'll make sure I get a shot of him eating. I always do that. Let him get used to it. And then we'll just swing him back and uh yeah he'll be eating so the last three guys that i want to get fed are my galops and aldabra so let's go ahead over to them and give them some of this good stuff and then we can get on to giving some of the water turtles some of this crafted cuisine and tawatic turtle diet as i mentioned these are the guys that i wanted to focus on today and make sure that they are getting some of this moist food. And the cool thing that I've been doing with these guys, since this is a moist food, I'm not throwing it out on the dry ground because it'll pick up too much debris. So I just wanna put a little in here and then the rest we'll put up here for the other guys to eat. So it's not a huge feeding, but it is definitely gonna get them full. I wanna kinda, oh, there's Nostradamus. Hey, Nas, come here, look, right down here. Look right down there, that's for you. Go ahead, oh boy, he's gonna come walking towards me. These guys aren't necessarily the brightest bulbs in the uh, lamps. If that's even a, I don't even know if that's a saying, but, um, all right, so maybe Darwin will get that one, and you can have this one. Come on, just look at it. So all you gotta do is look down. I've had Nostradamus since 
no, 2004 actually. Come on, look down, look down. That's a boy, there he goes. Go ahead, sniff it, sniff it, yummy, yummy. Very good. All right, now Darwin. Her nose has led her to the promised land. Good deal, very cool. Now we gotta find our buddy Socrates. Whoa. Let's find Socks, shall we? Hey, Socks! That's the only problem, having large enclosures. Sometimes the tortoises aren't necessarily where they are easy to find. So I've really got to spend some time looking. And on hot days, may not always be the most fun job. Up, oh, I hear something. There we go, I got lucky. Hey there, good looking. Here she is, Socrates, little socks. Down here, look at my finger. Look at my finger, no, 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 down. My finger, my finger, look down, down. Get your other foot on there, there you go. All right, very cool. So they'll just go ahead and keep chomping down on this. And uh, let's move over to our aquatic species now. We'll walk around, no, keep, go down, will ya? They're so crazy. All right, let's get some of these aquatic turtles fed. And uh, I just really appreciate you guys spending all this time with me on this video. I like to show you guys how I do things, maybe answer some questions you may have had. Uh, it's pretty good stuff, the crafted cuisine, I like it. Um, very appreciative that Fluker helps me out. As you guys can imagine, the amount of food I go through is definitely not small. So here we are. And what I do, there's the Caliger Borneensis. I'm just gonna throw some in, let it sink. And there she goes, right on it. Um, I'm not waterproof with this GoPro right now, but I think you can make her out. Oh, I don't know. What if I just, I wonder if I can just stick the, I don't know, I don't wanna risk it. But there is a, tor a turtle in there eating. I can promise you that. We'll get a better shot of the guys over here. The other cool thing is since it doesn't float, it doesn't get washed downstream. So these tortoises don't have to chase it. There's the Malaysian box turtle. And once they get their little noses on it, it's time to chomp down. And again, what's cool is this stuff sinks and they're able to forage for it, which is what they would be doing in the wild. They'd be looking under sand, under rocks, looking for things to eat. Uh, and that's what they're doing here. So it's good news for us. We really want to continue to give them uh, as close to a wild environment as possible so they can really do those wild behaviors, which is why we love them. We love seeing wild turtles. And we, I don't know, that's what makes them interesting. So let's throw some here. The Oscar might eat a little bit of this. We're going to throw some down there. Some of the cichlids eat it. But this is a, a different way to feed. Let's see if these guys will eat from my hands yet. I wonder. Come on. Come on. Yeah, very good. Awesome. There you go. And here's one of the Caliger right now eating underneath. Beautiful. Beautiful. Awesome. All right, guys. I think I may have gotten the microphone wet. Don't want to ruin that thing. Oh, uh, yeah. Now for our final group of critters, turtles of the pond. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour this out right along the shoreline and the turtles will find it and they will eat it here they all are here we go guys and that's that 
there's going to be a bunch of turtles out here any minute now. Uh, so there you go, everyone. Ah, well earned break for me, feeding some critters and uh, getting them uh, just a wide variety of foods, which is important. So remember guys, if you can pick up a moist diet, you can even add moisture to some of these dry diets by soaking the pellets, um, or you can pick up uh, the Crafty Cuisine, which is being made by Fluker. Um, I happen to like that stuff. Uh, definitely check it out. All right, I'm gonna leave now, guys. I'll leave you with some turtles eating food. I know you'll dig it. See you later. Don't forget to like and subscribe.